Hey everyone, here's just a quick little update. Um, because of the weather, we haven't been able to really film that much and had to get this done. So it's, uh, it's all done. Well, pretty much all done. <laughs> uh, I thought I'd go over a little bit of the uh, solar. So we got the uh, Renogy 30 amp uh, charge controller, two uh, 100 watt panels from Renogy. Um, for right now, we're just running to uh, deep cycle uh, marine grade batteries. They're the uh, multi purpose, whatever. They're working for now. Have them wired in parallel. So I've, I think I showed in the last video, um, pretty much these are the wires for the uh, two solar panels. The positive goes into this block. Uh, the 30 amp fuse. Um, the max of this is actually like 35 or 36, so 30 amp should be should be good. <laughs> um, yeah, and then the two batteries. Look inside. So we only have two fans going. We're just waiting on the other two. Um, here's the wires coming in. For the first few mornings, I was experimenting with uh, this little heater. Just hooked up to a little gas generator for the first 30 minutes. sure about this thermometer I don't know if it's stopping right at 120 like if it's maxed out or or what's going on so this is the first uh, the first stack We're still kind of experimenting with the distance from the front wall. We're a good six inches away from the wall. We've got some weight on it and some straps. Two black tarps. They seem to be working well. There's not a lot of air escaping. I need to seal up the two uh, vents that I opened for the winter just because they're not needed. I would give you a look at the baffle. No joke, when I stick my head through here, it's literally like sticking, well, like when you open the oven or open your wood stove door so uh, the other two fans are actually they've arrived they just need to be picked up so then we'll have four we'll try four if we need more we'll get more uh, these are two 12 volt uh, 80 watt radiator fans got them off Amazon they're about $60 Canadian for the two they're I think they're 10 inch I haven't painted that baffle probably wait until this first one this first stack is done I was uh, rewiring yesterday. I put these new wires in. Thicker gauge, they're 10, uh, 
here, there. They're uh, 10 gauge. And so I just dropped this down, draped it down and put the ladder up. And it's really hot up there on a ladder. So we're getting a pretty good seal on the bottom of the door. I I picked up some some foam for the top. I just need to put that up on both doors. I can stick my fingers in and you can kind of see light out. Same with between the doors. Now I'm gonna put a board just like I did here for this stop. I'm gonna put a board on the top of both of them and the bottom to help even more. But I still want to put the uh, the foam, the foam in. I went around and caulked all of the, uh, all of this, all the edges. I have the two coats on the doors. Still need to paint the vents, but again in time, the kiln is working. You can feel quite the airflow between the two slabs, well, between the slabs. Everything stickered every 12 inches. That's the paint we used. I used an air, uh, the air gun like you saw in the last video. And then I just, I just brushed and uh, rolled the doors. So this is just a quick video. I'm gonna start with the, uh, the whole solar and the awesome thing is this 10 gauge is hardly it's not even warm actually yeah it's not even warm the other wire we were using was just some speaker wire just as testing and all that and it was pretty hot the uh, charge controller was throwing codes the end of the wire was burning up so grab that and update it quickly So, here's the outside again. And yeah, you can, uh, you can hear these fans from over near the house, well, as you're walking into the field, but they're not too, too loud. I still need to put the door on the, uh, on the solar, but yeah, I think that's everything for this. Quick little update video. Um, I'm gonna get the, uh, I'm gonna get going on the solar video. And then hopefully once this, this stack is done, we can go ahead and show you how we unload this and load the new stacks up. And I think we may be able to fit two stacks with the next one. Not entirely sure. But uh, yeah, until next time, thanks for watching.